Jean-Marc Robin, uh, welcome here at, at Cambridge. We're happy you give a sure. talk in the afternoon. Tell me, you, your main research interest is job search theory. Uh, explain us, what is it about? Search theory was uh, st developed initially uh, in, in, in the 60s by, uh, by uh, George Stigler and then uh, a bit later by, um, by uh, John McCall in particular in a paper uh, published in the Quarterly Journal of Economics in, uh, in, in 1970. And Michael develops the, the mathematics of uh, search. So, I mean, he, he showed that uh, uh, when people search for, for, let's say, the best price or the best uh, job or the, the, the optimal policy is uh, uh, a reservation uh, uh, policy, like uh, you, uh, if you are an unemployed worker, you, you will... Um, Stop searching any if you uh, uh, if you find a job that offers a wage at least greater than some reservation wage. Or I mean, another example is uh, if you uh, want want to go to to the, to to to, to a theater or a restaurant and you have to park your car, uh, your reservation policy would be uh, to to park uh, to that you decide to park if you find a place. Uh, uh, to park your car, which is less than a certain minimal distance. So we from, use from the, the rule of thumb, basically. Yes. We have to satisfy a minimum criterion. We have to at least as close then and anything better. Exactly. So, uh, so that was in the in, in, in the sixties, and in the uh, late seventies and the in the nineties, uh, this uh, has been used by by, by econometrician to uh, uh, to talk to, to to think about unemployment uh, unemployment uh, duration. So people like uh, Andrew Shesher, Anthony Lancaster, uh, um, uh, Jim Fle Jim Jim Hagman, and, and Chris Flynn have used uh, uh, a search theory to to model unemployment duration, and this has had. Uh, some important uh, 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 effects and uh, has been used to uh, to 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 analyze uh, 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 unemployment uh, uh, policies like uh, what should be uh, sh what should be uh, uh, unemployment uh, insurance like i mean should you, how should it de de decrease with uh, with uh, with uh, unemployment duration so so that's an example of uh, of a line of thought that starts with uh, with uh, uh, some theoretical uh, de uh, developments in the 60s and uh, and and then progressively uh, percolates into into applied uh, economy. Now you always till so far you have been talking about un un unemployed job search. People have no job who want to, to look for a job. Later on, we also have models where under job search came in. Uh, uh, as very often in economics, I think it's a very interesting paradigm. So. Because so researchers uh, uh, think about search and develop uh, uh, a theory, uh, like uh, you, n you draw uh, wage offers uh, from a certain distribution and, and, you will, uh, and the theory tells you that you should accept uh, the first wage that is greater than, than some reservation wage. But then nearly at the same time, immediately, you have a criti criticism that, uh, that comes uh, in. And, and in, in, in this case, it's by uh, uh, Paul, uh, uh, Peter Diamond in, uh, in, 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 in a paper published in 71, who says, I mean, sh why should there be a, a wage distribution that you, uh, that you draw uh, where, where wages from? I mean, why, I mean, there should be a law of one price. So, so, so there shouldn't be any, any distribution. And it proves, indeed, that uh, in, in, in if you close the model of Stigler and, and McCall uh, uh, by endogenizing the, 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 the wage distribution, then it shows that employers uh, should optimally offer just one wage, which is workers' reservation, uh, reservation wage. So there shouldn't be any search uh, at all because there shouldn't be any, any, any wage distribution in the first place. Progressively, people have started to, to think more about it. And so in the, in, in, uh, over the... The, the, the 50s, the, the 70s, and, uh, and the 80s, some, some uh, uh, economists developed uh, alternative ideas where, where uh, alternative models where, where there would be a, 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 a distribution of uh, some heterogeneity, heterogeneity in, in reservation wages, which would uh, trans be transmitted uh, into uh, 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 a distribution of uh, wages. And so one important uh, contribution was by uh, um, Ken Burdett and, uh, and Dale Mortensen 
uh, in a paper uh, that was published in the late, uh, in the late uh, 90s. And uh, they, they make a very simple uh, point is they say, they say, so what if we, 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 we uh, assume that not only unemployed workers search for a job, but also employees, that is, you can, you can receive uh, alternative offers uh, during, uh, during uh, your employment. And in effect, what this does is that this creates uh, a, 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 a potential distribution of reservation wages because uh, unemployed workers have their own reservation wage, but then when you are employed at a given wage, what is your reservation wage is uh, your current wage because you're willing to accept any wage uh, offer that um, gives you a better, uh, a better, uh, uh, a better wage than, than, than your current wage. And what they show is that indeed, in, 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 in such an economy, the equilibrium uh, wage distribution is going to be uh, dispersed and, and, and the law of one price doesn't, doesn't apply. And, uh, and, and this idea has uh, deeply influenced uh, uh, the, 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 the profession and uh, some people have developed uh, uh, empirical models and used these ideas to, uh, to, uh, to, 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 to to uh, analyze wage distributions, and I, part of my work in, is, is exactly on, uh, on this. It's happened over the past 30 years. You see now that we have developed theories, as you explained, that allow you to uh, explain why we have not one wage, but a wage distribution, as we observe in reality. Would you think that uh, job search theory has helped us understanding how the labor market actually works? So yes, I think uh, now we understand better why why there is a, a wage distribution. So so before uh, before that, people uh, with a Valerian uh, idea of the of the economic world in mind w would think that wage is simply equal to marginal productivity, and so. Uh, there are productivity differences because people have different human capital, different education, etc. etc. When you run a mean equation, that is, when you regress log wages on education and experience and whatever, whatever you want, you you never explain more than say 40% of the total variance. So education would explain something like 20% of the total variance of uh, wages and uh, all possible uh, variables that you can think of. I mean, in total, would never explain more than, than 40%. So, so then uh, we realized that there is such a thing as uh, 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 other sources of individual heterogeneity. And pan the, the use of panel data uh, models have, uh, 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 has allowed us to, uh, to, uh, to estimate the share of uh, the total uh, uh, wage variance that, ca that, that, that can be attributed to, to individual uh, characteristics, observed and unobserved. And at most, or you can explain, let's say, I would say 50% of the total variance by, uh, by individual differences. So you're still left with a big question mark. And you're still left with a with, with big share to explain. And now, Something like uh, half of the remaining uh, uh, half uh, uh, could be uh, attributed to firm characteristics, observed and unobserved, and maybe a, 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 a last quarter uh, would uh, uh, would remain unexplained. And uh, such models, um, uh, uh, because they assume uh, uh, some intrinsic imperfection in the markets, uh, the so-called such frictions, are uh, able to uh, to explain the remaining. Uh, uh, Twenty-five percent uh, uh, of the wage variance uh, in, in wages. So I think at the moment we have uh, uh, we are beginning to understand the the, the various components of uh, of, of wage uh, distributions. Uh, it's not the end of uh, of the game. I think we still uh, we are struggling uh, uh, to, 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 to to and still searching for for the best uh, search model. But uh, but we are getting close. Would there be any policy implications of all this progress that we have made over the past 30, 40 years? So, search theory has been uh, heavily used in, uh, in, uh, in uh, macroeconomic analysis. Uh, 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 Dale Mortensen, uh, 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 Chris Pisarides and Peter Diamond recently uh, received the Nobel Prize uh, for, for their contributions to, uh, uh, to, 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 to the economics of, uh, of unemployment. And, uh, and their model is, is a search, so-called search matching model. And so this model nowadays is, uh, is, is the main uh, 
um, a representation that by in, in economics about uh, about the, the labor market. So anytime you want to do an ex ante uh, analysis of uh, of a policy like uh, uh, employ different uh, types of uh, employment contracts or employment protection or or minimum wages, uh, you 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 tend to use this sort of uh, representation to come up with uh, with numbers. Okay. Of course, the problem is uh, the numbers. Uh, I mean, the evaluation is heavily dependent on the calibration of uh, uh, of the model in the first place. But uh, so we still have some work to do to uh, to, uh, to 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 to, to define uh, a consensus on what is the right model to uh, to use to 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 do policy analysis uh, uh, in, in 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 labor economics. Well, thank you very much. It was very helpful. Thank you.